Hey, 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 I'm Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching, and I'm here today with your Monday tip of the day. So we are fully in the first week of August, and well, technically the second week was what I guess it was what it would be, but technicalities, right? So I am super excited. I love August. It gets hot. State fair comes this month, which is always fun. And I get to spend more time in my pool as long as it's not raining. So that's always a positive. Hopefully you guys have some positive things to think about this week as well. We are starting a new topic this week on practical mindfulness. This on the first or throughout this last week, we have a new ebook coming out. You'll see that in our posts that you have the ability to sign up for that um, and really get regrounded and really get refocused to take care of you and be more healthy. But last week we talked a lot about the mute button and how a lot of times we just start ignoring what is going on in our life and in our health because we have so many things that we need to focus on. So I would love you to go back and think about that, listen to it, tell me your thoughts. But today, kind of similar. Are you on autopilot? You know, it sounds familiar because it's similar to the mute button. But I'm not just saying in general across life, there are so many ways that we can be unmindful and be on autopilot. We're not thinking things through. We're taking on commitments that we at some point later on wish we wouldn't have done. We're not saying no to the things we need to say no to. You find yourself checking out on your phone more. You're scrolling in through your videos and you're just not wanting to think about things. Maybe you're adding that extra cup of coffee or energy drink instead of resting, or maybe it's even a little extra alcohol because you're stressed out and you're just trying to relax. There are a lot of ways, you guys, that we find ourselves on autopilot that actually set us up for not success. It actually puts us on the back burner and slows us down from the goals that we're trying to accomplish or what we really want. And I can tell you, even as a health coach, I can catch myself doing this. I had a lot of that last year. If you want to know the truth, I had a lot of things going on in my life and it was really easy to kind of just sail through and make it through the day. And I am not belittling that for you all, but what I will say is at some point we have to refocus or we get to refocus, not have to, because you can do whatever you want, but you get to refocus, you get to shut the the autopilot off and you get to take control of your life again. So these are the things we're going to talk about this week. I hope that you will keep uh, watching this week and hearing what I have to say. But most of all, I would love a response. How many of you have caught yourself on autopilot in the last few weeks? Let me know in the comments below. All right, we will see you tomorrow and we'll get more in depth with this. I hope you have a happy Monday and we'll see you on Tuesday.